Now, the caution for debris, our seventh of the night, and of course we showed the, the water bottle going out the 22. NASCAR said it was not that piece that caused the caution. Here was just one of the two stops we saw during the commercial break where the safety crews went out onto the track, so we wanted to show you that. And we're ready to reset it here. There you see row number five, and we're getting ready to go green. To go. I was wondering if L.A. Sadler might do that, get down there on the bottom side, because there's two guys with fresh tires, 31 and 22, coming fast on the outside. Six is staying side by side with the 33. Harvick has got his hands full right now. We haven't even seen anybody be able to come off a of turn two with him. He can get down there and loosen Harvick up a little bit. No, didn't happen. Didn't happen. He had one shot at it, couldn't quite pull it off. This time by two laps Major remaining. Mark, Comes Keselowski with those fresh tires right behind Elliott Sadler. What a run by Keselowski. Two laps down after two speeding penalties. And here he is in third position. He's still got some time left. You know, Sadler knew he couldn't hold him off with those fresh tires. He's only hoping that he can go up and get some of Stenhouse. But Stenhouse wants to get to the back bumper of Harvick here. Look at this run Keselowski's got off turn four. He's still got time. He's coming. There's your top three. White flags out. One lap. You heard it. 22 is oh, coming quick. Stenhouse. Stenhouse going high. Harvick What's happening on Harvick? Tire going down or something? Harvick has led 157 laps, and all of a sudden, this race is going away from him. Keselowski's only going to have to go to the high side. But he's not going to be able to get to Stenhouse, I don't believe. Ricky Stenhouse Jr. is living large. He comes out of four. He's going to win the race. Awesome job, guys. Awesome job. Awesome, awesome job. Ah, oh, what we're hearing now from the radio production truck tells us that Kevin was upset about the water bottle. Well, that's the caution that came out that changed the, the way the race ended. Uh, but that was the NASCAR said that was not what caused that caution, even though he showed the water bottle. On the right side of your screen, Ricky Stenhouse has his sixth career win. He doesn't care about the water bottle or anything else that's going on on pit road right now. He's celebrating. No, what a great job he did of driving around Harvick. I don't know if Harvick had it. It looked like he had a problem, but it doesn't seem that if there was a tire down, he just couldn't get going that last time. But Ricky Stenhouse, man, you got to give it to him. He never gives up in that race car.